section we're going to look at using sample data with proportions to predict our population values. So we're going to take data from a good sample, you set up a proportion, and use it to predict how many people in the whole population are, uh, are going to do something. And this is one of the benefits of sampling is that you can learn more about the whole group. So our vocab uh, proportion is two equal ratios into an equation. Now that might not mean much, but when you see what we're doing, you'll see basically two fractions set equal to each other. That's generally what we think of when we think of a proportion. So example, at a preview of a movie, six out of 500 walk out. So the number of people that walk out is on top, and the number of people total, 500, I put on bottom. So I put the number of people who walk over the total. Suppose 600,000 people see this movie. Estimate the number of people who walk out. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this equal to another fraction and have the number of people who walk over the total. Well we know we have a total of 600,000 but how many people walk out? That's what we're trying to figure out. So we're going to call that our good old x. So back to our quality algebra again. So we have this proportion here. We have uh, 6 over 500 equals x over 600,000. The best way to deal with proportions is to cross multiply. So we're going to take 6 times 600,000 and that's going to be 3600,000 or 3.6 million. So 6 times 600,000 6 times 6 is 36, and we have five zeros after it. So 3,600,000, or 3.6 million, is equal to 500 times x, because we're going to cross-multiply this way now. So we did this way, and now we're going to do this way, 500x. And whenever we want to get x by itself, and it's being multiplied by something, we divide. So we divide this side by 500 divide this side by 500 and now we're going to solve for x. If uh, you want to simplify some of this in your head you can cancel out some of the zeros at the end, divide both top and bottom by 100 and we have 36,000 divided by 5 and we can throw that into our calculator. 36,000 divided by 5 and that's going to be 7200. So 7200 is X and 7,200 people walk out. Now we're just going to carry on the same idea to a couple more examples. In a 125 foot uh, seat section of a baseball park, 300 or 38 people bought programs. So uh, total people over number who buy. So we put the number of people who buy, 38, over the number of total people, 125. If you're wondering, could I do 125 over 38 instead? Yes, you could, as long as you wrote it total over buy, 125 over 38, and you were consistent on the other side, you could do that. And the answer would come out the same. So if you flip both sides, that's okay. But if you flip only one side, that would be a problem. So I always, always, always write out these labels. Every time, always, always, always. Buy over total, 38 buy over 125 total. Park holds 54,000 people. Estimate the total number of programs sold. So I wanna know how many people buy. I'm not sure about how many people buy, but I know that I have 54,000 people in the park. Again, like earlier, I always want to cross, multiply, and then I will eventually divide. So 38 times 54,000, I can do that one in my head. 38 times 54,000 gives me uh, 2,052,000. So 2,052,000. Thousand, and that's equal to 125 times x. Since that's the case, we want to get x by itself. 
divide both sides by that 125. And that's going to leave us with uh, 16,416. So 16,416. And what that we're solving for was the total number of programs sold. So the, that would be how many programs they expect to sell. Now they're assuming that they have pretty good information from that one section. Example, in part of a shoreline reserve, there are 45 nesting adult sanderlings and 17 chicks. There are 120 nesting adult sandlings in the reserve. Estimate the total number of chicks. So I'm going to go, uh, just to, to show that working uh, upside down is just fine, I'm going to do adult over chicks. And then when we have adult over chicks, we have uh, on the reserve 45 adults over 17 chicks. And that's equal to, this is our 120 nesting adult sanderlings in the reserve. So in the whole reserve, we have 120 adults over an unknown number of chicks. That's what we're trying to figure out. If I wrote 17 over 45 equals x over 20, that would be okay. But I decided just to show it a different way than this one. So we do our cross multiply step first thing. So we have 45x equals 17 times 120. 17 times 120. And that's going to be 2040. Of course, we're trying to get x by itself, so we can figure out how many chicks there are. So we divide by 45, and that gives us 45.3 repeating. So let's go with x is equal to 45. And because this is the number of chicks, I'm going to actually round it off to a whole number, because it doesn't really make sense to have a decimal number of chicks. So we're going to say roughly 45 chicks on this uh, reserve. 